The World by Henry Vaughan. Read for LibriVox.org by Wedschild. I saw eternity the other night like a ring of pure and endless light, all calm as it was bright, and round beneath it, time and hours, days, years, driven by the spheres, like a vast shadow moved, in which the world and all her train were hurled. The doting lover in his quaintest strain did there complain. Near him his lute, his fancy, and his flights, wits, sour delights, with gloves and knots the silly snares of pleasure, yet his dear treasure all scattered lay, while his eyes did pour upon a flower. The darksome statesman, hung with weights and woe, like a thick midnight fog, moved there so slow he did nor stay nor go, condemning thoughts like sad eclipses scowl upon his soul, and clouds of crying witness without pursued him with one shout, yet digged the mole, and lest his ways be found, worked underground, where he did clutch his prey, but one did see that policy, churches and altars fed him, perjuries were gnats and flies, it rained about him blood and tears, but he drank them as free. The fearful miser on a heap of rust, sat pining all his life there, did scarce trust his own hands with the dust, but would not place one piece above, but lives in fear of thieves. Thousands were as frantic as himself, and hugged each one to his pelf. The downright epicure placed heaven in sense and scorned pretence, while others slipped into a wide excess and said little less. The weaker sort slight, trivial wares and slave who think them brave, and poor despised truth sat counting by their victory. Yet some, who all this while did weep and sing and sing and weep, soared up into the ring, but most would use no wing. O oh, fools, said I, thus to prefer dark night before true light, to live in grots and caves and hate the day because it shows the way, the way that leads from the dead and dark abode leads up to God, a way where you might tread the sun and be more bright than he. But as I did their madness so disgust, one whispered thus, the ring his bridegroom did for none provide but his bride. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.